How's it going, everybody? Mike here. Um, we're doing a, a live video. We want to do every year. We do like a brief overview of each sculpture from Scrap Fest. Uh, so today is drop off day. Uh, to give you some background on how this all works, if you're unfamiliar with Scrap Fest, if this is your first time uh, experiencing it, uh, the the way it goes is the teams get an hour to pick up to 500 pounds of metal or 250 pounds, depending on the what category they're in. If they're in the small category, 250 pounds. Large category, 500 pounds uh, of metal out of Friedland Industries scrap recycling processing plant and then they get a month so it, historically it's been two weeks this year we decided to give them a month and I think that was a really good choice because you can tell the difference between the two weeks and the month um, I can't even this year is just amazing uh, the sculptures I can't wait to show you so they get a month to complete the sculptures, and then we have drop-off day, which is today. So this is when the artists first drop off their uh, pieces, their finished pieces, at a warehouse. And this is a, a warehouse that Friedland leases, and uh, so that we can take photos of them and help promote them prior to the festival in mid-July. So, all right, I'll just do, I'll start with an overview. Oh, before doing any of that, I also wanted to, we got to give a huge thank you to our sponsors. Uh, of course, Friedman Industries for providing all the metal uh, and all the space and time and forklift operation and, and whatnot. And, um, and now also uh, our key sponsors this year, we have Rathbun Insurance and Auto Owners. We couldn't do this without you. Can't thank you enough. And we're super excited. And uh, I feel like this year is going to outdo all years. Um, so here's the logo for this year. We've got our shirts on. So, all right, without further ado, let's do an overview of each piece. Okay, let's start here. We've got John Gallo's piece. They did a rocket this year. Yo, Heather, do you want to hold this real quick? So let's do, I'm going to... this so John Gallo uh, his team last year they did the horse uh, the horseman from World War one it got second place uh, this is their piece this year this awesome rocket Next up, we have a Smith and Mason, which is a, Cl a Cliff Bohm. So he did a, he always does these sweet, like, they could be abstract pieces, but not, this is a, this is a fern. And you can see the level of detail on his pieces are just amazing. This is Artistic Irons piece this year. It is unbelievable. So that is made up of Jeff, Jeff Seeley, uh, Manny Lopez, and, um, and Andrew Sandstead, of course. So they were inspired by, if any of you who are listening, if you know of Where the Wild Things Bloom, which is a flower shop in, uh, in, located right in Old Town, they were inspired by their arrangements to make this piece. And I'll, immediately you can tell I can tell by like the sticks up there, it looks like, you know, like one of their arrangements. Let me just zoom in on a, some of the detail here. 
the goo or the spray? The goo, I think, works better. Okay. You know, like, it's like a vaseline kind of thing. I've seen it for like inside your cups. Yeah. You know, so I'm take that and it's like, you know, run a little bit around. If you're getting a lot of using like flux core, you're getting a lot of the splatter. And you, don't, and you don't want to have to do so much scraping, it'll, like, it'll help. Oh, sorry, Manny. Nice. That way you can just, like, knock it off. Right, right, right. Okay, right. Yeah. And, yeah, it, it, saves you, it saves you a lot of time, you know. Yeah. Just, it, it, it doesn't drop. See a little name tag in there? Looks like a flower shop name tag. Like that. Like, like Where yet? Like oh, yeah, it does. Right <laughs> oh, that's cool. I didn't even see that. Bloom. Oh, you called it? Is the piece called Bloom? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Look at these cattails, dude. That is so awesome. I can't even with the detail on this. I'm going to go to Bob Welton's piece, Iron on the Move, this year. It's definitely a garden piece. So this extends up to about 11 or 12 feet high. And in the wind, that sun should rotate. It might need to be a strong wind. Lovely piece by Bob. I believe Bob's piece last year was a heron. And so he went in like a garden direction this year. And so we're gonna do the large piece category first before doing the small pieces. I'm gonna move over to Ken Wessner's piece. He's got a seahorse. And he said he uh, this should be to scale. He had a drawing and he had it blown up so that he could make everything to scale. What's amazing, all the rebar in this piece, uh, it's as difficult to bend the way you want it to. This construction rebar here. So one thing we did this year was we allowed people to, we included a base uh, if they wanted a base, and that helps the pieces uh, with stability. And so when it comes to, um, you know, Placing them, if someone buys them, it should be easy to place them uh, wherever they need them placed. Easier to move with a forklift and strap to a pallet. Incredible work, Ken. So good. Let's move on to Super Welders 18. Have a guy riding what it looks like one of those electronic unicycles. <laughs> Steamroller, unicycle rider. This is Dace Kennick's next piece. Let's start with these lovely flowers. A 
Or does that spin? Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Um, wait, which part does? The whole top does? Just the bees. Oh, the bees spin. The bees. Oh, that's awesome. Let me see if I can... I can't reach. Sorry, folks, I'm only 5'7". But the bees do spin. And that's cool. You can see, is that like a bear cub that's trying to get the, get the honey? That's pretty sweet. Oh, what a cute piece. I love it. Move on to the Barnes piece, which is Fred Hammond, Mike Ware, um, and Tom Arnold. So they, what was really cool this year, uh, hey Heather, can you help me with this one? So they made a, uh, this can go in a garden and you can put uh, planters in these or uh, like candles or even like a bird feeder. And these all, what's cool is these, uh, these all adjust. Here, I'll show you. You got it? Yep. So during Scrap Fest, like during the festival, they're probably going to put um, some plant, some plants in there just to show people what that can look like. What a cool piece! I'll, I'll go around it. See, and each one of these can go up and down. Start on the right here. Oh, so this is Sabrina's team. Uh, why am I blanking on the team name? But so it was really cool. They can they made a dog this year. Next up, we have Chance Lizcombe's piece, and Chance is pretty known. I can't move this much here, but um, he's known for doing a lot of mobile work. So he's very, he has a keen sense of center of gravity, and so many of his pieces you can, will move. So this is definitely a garden piece that moves, if you can see me moving it back and forth. And each one of these segments also, everything is balanced perfectly each segment will will move incredible work by chance as always he couldn't join us last year because he had a family reunion so we we're excited to have him back but um incredible piece by chance and of course team hammered ivan eiler so Ivan and Ian's team, and Travis. Look at this, elephant. Now, what's amazing about this is that, you know, Team Hammered being Team Hammered. Yeah, I didn't think that was a problem. 
Wow. So now it looks like a couple more teams have dropped off their, the last couple large piece teams have dropped off their work. So let's move back up there and take a look. Hey Nick, how's it going? We're gonna look at your piece next. You wanna, is, is it Buzzard being nice. Team Buzzard? This is an abstract piece. This is sweet looking. This is definitely Garden. I'm going to back up here so you can see the whole thing. <laughs> oh, you can talk, it's fine. Simple rocket ship. Yeah. Team Buzzard's pieces, Paul and Nick such, their pieces are always so unique. Really cool. So they did both a large piece and a small piece this year. And let's walk on over to the last large piece. Oh, look at this. It's a sweet butterfly. This is Sparks and Sprockets piece. Uh, Dedge Manning and forgetting the, the other person's name in the team. Sorry about that, but look at this. I'm going to zoom out here so you can see. Oh, what a lovely piece. This is cool. Let me get on the other side so it's not shadowed out here. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's move on to the small piece category. Here, I'll turn this around. Let's move on to the small piece category, and then we'll do one more walkthrough with uh, both large and small, just to show, make sure everybody sees. Okay, so first, let's start off with Steve. Now, Steve is unique in that he came all the way in from Chicago. That is so far the farthest we've had uh, anybody come in to do Scrap Fest, man. We appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah, so cool, man. Thank you. And these are <laughs> these are Steve's pieces. He did two small pieces. He did this year's logo. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. So this piece is made to stand, to go on top of the stand. This piece uh, is made to be mounted to a wall. Uh, this is uh, Steve's second piece, and this is a deer, deer head. Incredible work. Here we have Lucas Rakuten's work. So he made a globe that spins. It looks like an Edison bulb in there and it is a functioning lamp actually. So you can plug that in. And he's got one of his uh, famous dragonflies on there as well. A couple of peace signs, it's titled Peace on Earth, as you can see. And he's got quite a few things going. Yeah. The plane attached to it, that's sweet. I'm gonna try to get it on the other side here. 
Now we've got Team Buzzard's second piece. I'm pretty sure this is Team Buzzard's second piece. So cool. I'm not sure if any of this looks like it balances in a way. I don't think it spins. Oh, that's cool. It almost looks like this serpent that. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Looks certainly aquatic in a way, but they leave a lot of that up to you to to to, to determine yourself. Another team that has such a keen sense of center of gravity. Center of mass, I mean. So this is sweet. This is Keith and Clayton Coulter's uh, first time in the competition. And uh, with Clayton being the lead welder on this project, this is, uh, this is a functioning fountain. Look at the welding job on this too. The finish looks great too. I'm certainly a fan of guitars. And uh, Keith sent me a video, or is going to send me a video of this uh, functioning. So I'll post that in the event as well so you can see prior to the event. Hey, plug that in. There's a functioning fountain. Oh, look at the back finish on that. That's cool. That's sweet. Nice job, guys. Really, really good. Ethan Sandstead this year, he made a uh, like a grill that you can put in the, in your backyard. Essentially, you could he said you could put wood or coals underneath this and uh, have yourself a grill. Let's try to get around here so I can see the whole thing. This is Bob Welton, Iron on the Moves, small piece. Look at this. This is a wall mount. This is a really great piece. So this, this is just to help uh, display, so you can see, and he'll have this at the event too. But this is a wall piece. Bob, for those of you who know Bob, he's a phenomenal uh, welder, and uh, he, you know, he's very well known for different his different um, welding techniques, including brass brazed onto steel, right? You, as you can see, ball peen hammered effects. So he calls this a splash of flash. So this is his small piece. Look at that. Let's see. <laughs> Again, all of these will be available for purchase before, during, and after the event. With during the event, uh, they will be available for purchase at a discount. And I think that's what we have for the small pieces. Yeah. So, all right. I'm going to do one more walkthrough of both large and small pieces, just so everybody can see. Start with sparks and sprockets. Pardon me, I'm going to come around here this way. Yeah, dude, fantastic. It looks great. Did the month help? Did you feel good about having a month versus two weeks? I mean, realistically, we ended up doing two weeks anyway. Okay. Yeah. No, man, that's. Were they weekend? Like. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, you know, we figured some teams will take two weeks anyway. Some teams will take the whole month. This is Team Buzzard's piece. 
the abstract. Always love the coatings that they put on here on their pieces. I'm kind of shadowed out here, but. John Gallo's rocket. A grand day out. And again, this actually opens. Let me see if I can do that for you. It's pretty heavy. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I need to, oh, thank you very much. Oh, there we go. Thanks, John. There's the artist right there. One of them. Look at that, that's pretty sweet. Got some AC radiators in there. <laughs> that's awesome. Nice. Oh, cool. Vulcan. That's awesome. Pardon me. I'm going to squeeze behind it here. I think we're... Oh, no, you can... I'm gonna go around this way next. Thanks. Let's stop at Cliff's piece. A Smith and Mason. Cliff's fern. Look at that. This is artistic irons piece. And it's just it's amazing to think that all this is scrap that came out of Friedland's processing plant. When you see those before and after pictures, we take photos of the teams of their scrap in their basket. So to compare that to this is just amazing. Another shout out to where the wild things bloom. So cool. I'm going to stop over here for a second again. But again, this is Ken Wessner's piece, and uh, he drew this to, he actually had this to scale. Right? You said you had drawings? I made a scale model of it first. Uh, it's probably like four or five inches tall. And then I blew those up with the magic of science. <laughs> Cut them all out, laid them on the uh, my steel from like wheelbarrow, uh, various car panels and stuff. And I overheard you and Andrew talking about the the rebar. Yes. So, so you this, had a time with it. Right? The front piece yeah. of rebar. I actually made that last night. Oh wow! Um, cool. And then trying to figure out where to actually place it. 
I, I kept moving around, and I actually had placed it in a different location, and I'm like, oh, okay, it looks perfect there. Yeah. But it took me like two or three hours just to make that front piece of rebar. Oh, really? Just because it's industrial? Well, the weird. Like it, was stuff, so it was a lot easier to bend and stuff. Yeah. But the thick stuff, I did not bend it. I tried to bend it. Oh, really? Big hammer. It didn't, didn't work. Didn't work. No. Yeah. So I just looked for like um, angles that were naturally occurring. Yeah. The rebar. Yeah. Just throw it out uh, and then just weld it together. Oh, it looks fantastic, man. Thank you. Thank you. It looks great. Job well done. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. I and design my projects smaller now because I, I I don't know who's all going to be on my team. Right, 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 right. Uh, it's a lot easier to manipulate and work with it by myself. Uh, and I can get it done quicker. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And like when it comes to marketing it, if you think like it kind of expands the audience too, maybe like or like it meets people who want something small versus yes. it's like a good in between, right? Yes. As I had um, people in the past, I love your work. Where can, right. where can I put it? Right. Right. Yeah. No, this is sweet, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is sweet. I love I love scrap this. Oh, thank you, man. I I appreciate it. we appreciate you, man. So much fun. I love. We're addicted to your work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like the month helped? Yeah. Okay, so still the two weeks, yeah. But like, I later like I tweaked some things. Yeah. Like, I don't know about. Yeah. How is this going? Yeah. I can add to this. Yeah. I wouldn't have done that previously. Yeah. No, that's good. That's a, that's exactly what we were thinking about. Like, you have time to work on those finishes or like those any any those last minute decisions that, you know, like someone who wants to wait till the last minute anyway, that's fine, you know. But I think like it doesn't matter. Yeah. But like, and which is great if they want to do that. But I think that month just helps with like the extra added details that you can put in there. I get up like I normally do for work. Like it's another day at work. Yeah. Except now I'm just doing this for myself. Yeah, man. I just. Down. Oh, I love it. I kind of break the project down in my mind, like, okay, I can, I'm just going to work on rebar today. I'm going to mm. clean paint. I'm going to lay out templates. Yeah. Do this. So that way I'm not jumping from, like, doing this process to this one and my time walking back. Yeah. Like that. Very yeah. <laughs> it's very organized, you know? Yeah. I love it, man. Well, thank you. No, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Check out Bob's piece one more time. Iron on the moves, large piece. Love that. And that's more of Bob's uh, signature yellow brass brazed onto steel. And that will move in the wind. A strong enough wind, anyway. Love it. This is Dace Kennick's next piece. Looks like a bear cub chasing some honey. And those bees, I am told, move, rotate around. I can't reach them right now, but that is pretty sweet. Sweet beehive right there. No, you're right, man. Um, are we? Who, how are they getting to Old Town? Yes, we need all the artists to come back here. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. to help with that. Are you yeah. gonna send out an email about that? Yes, okay. and I put that in the application too. That okay. like I says that. Oh, that. uh, that's okay. A lot of people didn't. Yeah, but um, but yeah, we're gonna um, so from 10 a.m. to noon on that Friday is when we need them over there. Okay. So well, I'll send an email, a follow-up email, okay. so people know. All right. Yeah. Okay. We'll figure it out, right. and we'll have people here to help. Sure. Right. Yeah. Well, for sure. Pork trucks. Uh, yes. Here and there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, John. Yeah. Fantastic job. And again, these planters made by Team Barn. The Barn, I mean. Very cool.
and so they made it so that you could put plants in here super functional artwork and the fact that these go up and down you can you can adjust these so that they go up and down each stem here yes that's okay yeah say it one more time yeah yeah do that This top piece goes up and down as well. Lovely piece from them. This is Team Super Welders 18. This is their first year. They made a guy riding a unicycle. See the heart. Super cute. <laughs> this is the mobile. Oh, uh, that is a new team, Super Welders 18. This one is Chance Liscombs. Each piece of this moves. Let's see how this is weighted. Center of mass is amazing. Perfect garden piece, my goodness. And then again, we've got Team Hammered's realistic looking elephant. You know, I didn't really get an up close before, but let's just do that right now. That is amazing. Yeah. Look at the eyes. So incredible. Let's just take a look at some of the behind the head. We've got the front legs. And then let's look at some of the inner workings here. So again, Team Hammered is always super well known for having movement in their pieces. So usually in Friedland's uh, facility. They're looking for things like bicycles and chains so that they can use the chains to create movement in their piece. And you can see all the pulleys that are involved. It's just incredible. And just again how like realistically how realistic looking this trunk is. Now let's see if I can do this.
And the ears move too. Now that moves all the way around, but I'm gonna leave it there for today so that it doesn't run into anything. And then let's go back up and do the small pieces one more time. Hey, let's see here. Pardon me, sir. Pardon me, sir. All right, one more time the small pieces. This is uh, Keith and Clayton Coulter's small piece. Again, this is a functioning fountain. Incredible job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. This is uh, Bob Welton's Iron on the Moves wall piece. His small piece is a really cool abstract wall piece. He calls it a, spl a splash of flash, showcasing all the different uh, techniques he does, or many of them. <laughs> Ethan Sandstead's uh, backyard grill that you can, this is a usable piece, functional. We've got uh, the Team Buzzards uh, small piece. I love this. Got Lucas Rakuten's piece in the small category. It is a globe, it's a functioning lamp. Called Peace on Earth. Let's see, he's got chains and a peace sign, his signature dragonflies. Plane on there. And then we've got Steve Cost's piece coming here from Chicago. Did a deer. And lastly, we've got Steve's other piece. He did the Scrap Fest 11 logo. Look at that. How cool is that? It's cool city landscape. Whew. Well, there you have it, everybody. Oh, yeah. Well, there you have it, everybody. Thank you for watching, and we can't wait to see you in July. And that's what everything looks like in overview. Um, really appreciate all of you. Again, thank you so much to Friedland Industries, of course, for the space, the metal, the time, the labor. Uh, thank you so much to Rathman Insurance and auto owners. We couldn't do this without you. You're, you mean a lot to us, and I <laughs> really appreciate you. And um, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait for this festival. It's going to be sweet. And stay tuned. A lot more stuff coming up. So we'll see you again. All right. Have a good day, everybody.